welcome back it's Lisa and today I'm going to show you how to make your own perfume or cologne make sure to check this whole video out for different ways on how to make high quality perfume and cologne and I'm going to show you how to make your own perfume bottles because these are perfect as a gift for someone or right as a vanity decor and it's cool to customize the scent or make something for less. It's really easy to make because I will break it down to you and give you plenty of options to choose from. Perfume are diluted versions of scented oils so choose either essential oils or fragrance fragrance. Going natural, stick with essential oils. Keep it simple, choose whatever scent that smells the best to use. And the best part, you can make your own unique scent and designer inspired ones for less. They smell just like the real deal at department stores. I can't tell a difference at all. Why not? Save money for things that I can't make myself like shoes. Still no clue? Check out the ingredients listed under notes of one of your favorite perfumes like on Sephora. This is how I got started in making perfume. By knowing what oils to get, you can make your own fragrances at home. You can get scented oils either online or at a health food store. Grab a small plate or a bowl. I'm using a smelling strip but you can also use an oil blotter, a cotton pad, or even a coffee filter for this tutorial. When mixing a ton of oils together, it helps to organize by how long each scented oils last on us. But we're using cotton pads or the other ones I mentioned earlier. This is called notes. Fragrances are composed of three sets of notes. top middle and base. Before finding out what lasts, make sure to clean everything with bleach and rubbing alcohol. I'm using this for my last perfume recipe too, so if you're new, start with about 3 scented oils. I'm using essential oils, they're so much fun to blend and you'll find out what notes are what. Think what style of scent you want to create. I'm going to go for a summer light citrus jasmine scent. I love those the most. I want jasmine to be the main focus so it's the heart of my scent. This is called the middle note. I'm adding just a few drops to see if I want more when I start mixing my scents all together. Top notes are light fragrances like citrus and mint that evaporates the fastest within 30 minutes. I'm combining grapefruit, tangerine, bergamot and I'm using a lot because it does fade away so much quick and I really want a long strong citrus scent. As a base note, I'm using a drop of rose oil. It's a rich scent like vanilla and sandalwood that gives depth to my fragrance and anchors all the notes together for a longest staying power. There isn't a rule on how many drops to mix together, so mix well and sniff with your nose. So start with a sample recipe, write it down, and I like to wait another hour to see if my potential fragrance change over time. While you're waiting, we're going to make our own perfume bottles if you can't go to the store or buy online. Find a glass bottle, you might find these in the kitchen or at the craft store with a cork. If you don't have a cork, you can get those too at the craft store. A knob from a hardware store, it comes with a screw set, so taking a screwdriver, I'm piercing it through the center of the cork. It was a mini arm workout getting that thrill. Add the screw in at the bottom of the cork and connect the knob to the top. That wasn't difficult to do, so make more and start a collection of vintage inspired bottles to fill up. Now that the hour is up, time to smell again. I'm pretty happy with the scent so we can finally make perfume. The easiest and most convenient way to make perfumes are to add an oil base to dilute. Perfume oils linger longer than spray perfumes using about 10-30% to strength. Add one part of scented oils to three or nine parts of fractionated coconut oil or jojoba oil. Parts can be teaspoon, tablespoons, ounces, or cups. Using two perfume rollers for my summer scents I created over an hour ago, these will hold about 20 milliliters together. Knowing this, I need to measure my recipe in a dropper. You can use a measuring spoon too. About 20 drops equals 1 milliliter, so you're going to add 18 drops of jasmine, 8 drops of tangerine, 8 drops of bergamot, 
12 drops of grapefruit, 2 drops of rose, and 18 milliliters of fractionated coconut oil. You can also use, as I said before, your hobo oil. Mix it well, this will help dilute your concentrated scented oils. How to use this? Dab it onto pulse points like the side of my neck, wrist, and crook of my elbows. So the heartbeat helps warm a steady and regular stream of fragrance. Second way to dilute scented oils are with the wax and oils, the solid perfume. So with your container, you're going to add these parts, three parts of your wax, two parts of oil, and one part of your fragrance oils. My container is pretty small, so I'm using teaspoons. Three teaspoons of soy wax, two teaspoons of coconut oil, and you're going to let that melt onto a hot plate or use a double boiler to melt your wax down. As you've seen from my other tutorials, now I'm using one teaspoon of my cherry blossom fragrance. Stir well and you can pour these directly into a container. I'm using these lip balm ones that I found from Walmart and let it cool for one to two hours. Like an oil perfume, rub the wax onto our pulse points. I use these as a touch up to carry around in my purse. This is my favorite way of making high quality spray perfume. It gives a dramatic scent to all over your body and in the air, so everyone smells it. It comes in different strains. Perfume, the strongest and most expensive one, while light fragrances like Eau de Toilette can be used all over the body, even the hair. Because it's so light, it's not going to be overwhelming and strong enough. The only thing you need besides essential oils and fragrance oils is perfumer's alcohol. This is used majority in high-end perfumes because it carries scent quickly and dramatically on us. Let's say you want to make cologne. I already have a pre-made fragrance oil that smells just like Jean-Paul Gaultier. I need one part of fragrance with five parts of perfumer's alcohol into the 60 milliliter glass bottle. Go with whatever size container you have. If you want to add color, use a water soluble dye like soap colors. I added one drop to tint this cologne, giving this one to my fiance. Best thing, it has more than a year shelf life. Did you fall asleep yet? I promise this is the end. Last way to make spray perfume, you need to use distilled water to avoid growing mold quickly. I'm making about 60 milliliters of this, so add 9 parts of water, 8 parts of rubbing alcohol that we use to clean our supplies, utensils, and one part of sweet pea or fragrance oils that you want. It will turn cloudy, so to make this clear, you need to use an emulsifier like polysorbate 80. You do not have to buy this, it's optional. This binds water with oil, so you do not have to shake the perfume each time to use it because water is used in this recipe to show you every possible way. Last step, you're going to add labels like a sticker, envelope seal, or a printable clear label as an idea with a ribbon. Keep it simple and fabulous like yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon and spray on!